Moo! Welcome everybody to Uncharted 2, part number 7. In the last part we were pinned down in that little area there, but don't worry, we killed everybody, we we're good to go. Sully's up there and he's going to meet us, but before we get started, let's make sure I do not forget the treasure. It's right at the top of this mast up here, you can see it glowing. Just, come on, there we go. Single shot, it should land down here somewhere. There it is. Lands in the water. Get that treasure. Nice. So there we go, that's number 20. Um, we gotta go over there though. If we wanna get up the Sully. I'm cow's crazy, by the way. Not that anybody, you know, really needs to know. Should be this way. Of course it should be this way. Anyways, we're still on the case of solving Marco Polo and the Chintamati stone. And looking for Shangri-La! Shangri-La-di-da! Of course, we're trying to be killed in the process. But that's, that's nothing new, right? Hold it. I'm actually at a dead end. Are we supposed to go up there? Oh, we can. I, I didn't think we could reach up there. Oh, we can. We're good. It's all good. We're trying to meet up with our female companion, too. Up there, I guess. Always looking for the way out. Oh, that's a weird camera angle there. That music just got weird, oh, too. Sully. Look at these stones. Ah, we're getting somewhere. These stones look like they were stairs, like they're supposed to be. Wow, what a view. Wow. If that isn't beautiful, I don't know what is. Look at that mountain in the background. It is. It's pretty. All the birds down there. It's a long way down, though. Holy smokes. It's a long way down. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Uh, are you telling me this wasn't that far from their camp, and these guys have been here for three months, and they never found this? This was, like, not that far away. She was here the whole time. Like, the hell? I'm getting information here. Information I don't really need to know about. Wow, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. Down this way. Wow. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ugh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Yeah. Look at their teeth. They're all black. They're all that way. That doesn't... They must have taken refuge here during the tsunami. That doesn't sound good. Sounds pretty nasty, actually. Now, if we look up... There's gotta be some sort of clue around here. We will see that there is another treasure right there. Shoot that treasure down. That should make 21. Treasure 21. Whoa! Oh, bats! Ah! Ah! I got bats in the belfry! Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipped out. That's, that's some carrion right there. Who's carrying their cargo? Must be precious cargo. Ooh. What's this? I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, blue flame. But remember what the resin did before? This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. 
All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. Follow the stains of blood. Oh, that's nasty shit, man. Follow the blood. They'll show you where to go. I don't know, I thought that was follow the arrows. Follow the arrows. Oh, there's no blood there. I keep following that blood. Oh, there's no blood here either. Am I going the wrong way? The right way? Wrong way? Oh, I think I lost the trail. I must be going the wrong way. I lost the trail somehow. Okay, there's the blood stains again. Is this the end of the trail? Or am I just going the wrong way? It feels like a dead end. Guys, can you show me where to go? I don't get it now. Really? Am I stuck? Am I lost? Am I cows crazy? I don't know. Probably doing something wrong. Maybe I wasn't even supposed to go in here in the first place. Maybe this is where they started from. Or maybe not. I feel like I'm stuck in these two rooms. Oh, no, oh, I'm on something. Seems to end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. What's behind the wall, then? This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Here we go again with the pushing. <laughs> I think I hurt myself. There's always a secret wall. I love secret walls. The trail leads in here. More blood. More bodies. Oh my god. More bodies. You know, maybe I'm crazy. But it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, Nate. You're just getting spooked. They killed each other? Over what? What would be the fight? There's gotta be something. Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Careful. Ah! <laughs> Christ almighty. <laughs> Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. A ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's... Not just a feel of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Let's get going. Let's get going. So it's time to get out of here. But before we go, take a look up. We have treasure. Boom. Thank you. Some kind of helmet, maybe? Or thimble? I don't know. We can inspect it another time. 
Well, you can inspect it on your own, but that's where the treasure is. Let's get out of here. Maybe that was Mocha Polo himself there. Uh, no, he make it back alive, didn't he? Yeah. I wonder who that was then. Must have been somebody topping his crew if he was, like, holding on to it so tightly. It was, like, the key to everything. So now we have this, um, staff or spire or passport that we've seen him cling to out in the snow. As, yes, this is still a back... This is still a... A flashback, right? Hold on, where'd she go? She didn't climb up somewhere, did she? This is a dead end, isn't it? Where the fuck did she go? How did I get lost in here? Seriously? Oh. That was weird. <laughs> Don't ask me. Go out make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Alright. Is the coast clear? Can you give me a hand, Nate? Oh, God damn it. Come on. Harry! In here! Don't let it's Drake! What the hell are you- Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick him. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you, Victor Goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a pathway oh. to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Come on, keep moving. Oh, shit. Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. Now run! Run for it! They've spotted us! Run for it! They've always spotted you. Seriously? Punch! Punch! Kick! It's all in the mind! Oh no! Don't die now! Come on, dude. Don't be like that guy. Thank you. Holy shit. Just keep running. Keep jumping. Okay, hold on. Go. 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 Run. 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 Get. Come on. Go. No. Hold it. Up. Down. Left. Right. Run. Run! Get the door! Now what do we do? We jump? <laughs> Hold on there, Sundance. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Now, if we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. No, come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey. You can tell me all about it when you get back. There they are! Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid! <laughs> shit. Well, when 
you said Lazarevich had a head start on us. You weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Oh, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh-oh. I got company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you all right? I've been better. Chapter 5, Urban Warfare. Oh, no. Hold the L and push the un R1 button to run and gun! Yes, okay. They're never gonna give up. Keep running, keep running. And I'm dead. <laughs> and let's try this again. And keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh my god, get the door, get the door! Get the door! Get the door! Oh my god. Am I really out of... Holy shit! <laughs> shit! Well, I think they're dead. At least I think they're dead. Anyways, welcome to Nepal, everybody! Oh, wow. Look at those street lights. Okay. The old market. Ought to be this way. Yeah, yeah, it's that away. Crap. Go, go, go! He's here somewhere. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. My eyes are open. <laughs> They're under attack from somebody else now. Oh my god! Public transportation! Holy shit! That did not look good. But anyways, we'll continue on throughout the streets of Nepal in the next episode! Until then, everybody, I've been Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move!